Hello again. <laughs> um, so video number two for the night. Um, I wanted to just do a separate video for these three journals, separate from the other three, like Bohemian style uh, file folder journals that I did, um, because <clears throat> I just feel like they're pretty different, you know, um, they take just a little bit of explanation. So, um, these are basically an A6 size traveler's notebook. Um, each one is made with this like boho fabric snippet, <laughs> um, you know, fabric that I made. Um, I did a, like a live stream slash tutorial on making like snippet rolls in like a boho style and, um, use just a whole bunch of different fabrics in this. It's, it's almost like a, like a confetti, um, that is just stitched onto another piece of fabric. Okay. Um, in just like very random, in a very random way. <laughs> um, so I actually made a, a very large piece, well, relatively large piece of fabric. Um, that was probably 24 by 36 or so. Um, and I wound up cutting that into, um, some pieces that were, you know, perfect for a, a little, a little journal. So, um, I was pretty happy with the way these turned out too. Um, so each one is basically just a piece of that fabric with, um, some appliques stitched onto it from some sari silk. Um, this one, and I use the ones that were, you know, really, um, glittery and blingy, you know, um, with the sequins and stuff like that. And I just stitched them on with some embroidery floss. Um, each one has a, um, well, this one's got, you know, a piece of trim on the front and then there's an applique there. And then I just added a little button on the back. Um, so each one has like a snippet roll closure with, um, just a hair tie that slips onto a button right near the spine. This one's on the spine. Um, and then, and then they each have, let me move these out of the way. They each have, um, two signatures that are held in with elastic. So, you know, they're removable, um, replaceable. You could replace them with you know, whatever kind of inserts you want. Um, and then there's a pocket on the front. Um, I put some tags in here just, you know, for <laughs> good luck, I guess. I don't know. Um, there's a, a pocket on the front and the back and you know, there's going to be pieces of thread and that kind of stuff all over these for a while, um, until they get used and, um, broken in. So, and they'll continue to get, you know, like fluffier as time goes by and as they get used, but they're all really sturdy and, um, I think, you know, very well made. So they're not, they're not going to fall apart. Um, so I just basically, you know, added a few, um, you know, heavier pieces of paper. These happen to be the, um, this is like craft paper that I decoupaged some vintage ephemera, on with, um, beeswax. And then I just use some little scraps of the snippet on, on some of the pages as tabs. So there's at least a couple of those. And these can be used as like a tuck spot too. Um, where, you know, wherever you see one of these, this could be like a tuck spot. So, um, yeah, so at least a couple of those in each one. Um, each one of these signatures is probably about 40 pages or so. Um, and you know, you could actually add a couple more inserts to this if you wanted to, you know, they can get, they, it could get pretty fat. Um, this, I just wanted to put something inside the journal, you know, um, to kind of get you started. So there's that one. Um, this one has a couple of appliques on the front. Um, there's a paisley here and then like this kind of sun shaped, um, applique. Um, I don't have anything stitched onto the back, but you can definitely see, 
um, you know, what's going on with that, that fabric, you know, it's, um, it's super fun and, and it's, and it feels so nice. Like it's really soft and, um, you know, you just want to kind of play with it. Like you want to mess around with it. So, and then another like snippet roll, um, strip as a, whoops, as a closure on the, on the button. Um, again, you know, pockets on the inside, on the front and on the back. Um, some little like tuck spots here. I use different papers in here. Um, you know, so there's basically like a 28 pound, um, copy paper, um, like printer paper that's coffee dyed. And then there's also some like typing paper. This is onion skin typing paper. Um, this is some like masking paper. Okay. Right here, this green, um, this is some other onion skin paper. Um, and then, you know, like some heavier, like drawing paper. Um, and then this is watercolor paper on, as a cover on each one of the inserts. So this is like another, you know, tuck spot right here. So, and not, you know, a ton of tabs or anything, but you don't really need them. So this one happens to have like the, the silver, um, elastic cord. Um, yeah, so there's that one. And then the third one, I went a little bit crazy on this one. Um, so I put on the applique and then I just still had thread left on my needle. So, um, I just grabbed some buttons, just some random buttons and kind of stitched those on all around on the front. Um, there is an applique on the back as well. And then like this, um, piece of trim that, you know, um, goes, covers the whole top. Um, and there's two eyelets on the top and two eyelets on the bottom on each one of these journals. So, you know, you could add another piece of, um, you know, elastic or something in there if you wanted to. Um, you know, <laughs> this is the knot from sewing on the button, you know, but I just thought, you know what, these are super rustic and, um, you know, uh, I don't know exactly what to, how to ex explain it, but, um, I just wanted to show all my work basically. So, you know, why hide the, the knot? You know what I mean? Um, why not just show the knot? It's, it, it's not ugly. I think it's, I think it's cute <laughs> anyway. So there's a, you know, again, a couple little tuck spots, um, same kind of paper, all coffee dyed, except for, um, I did not coffee dye the onion skin paper or, you know, the masking paper, but any of the like printer paper or copy paper I did. Um, and this, each one of the inserts is actually stitched together with cotton twine too. So when you take it out, it's not going to fall apart. Um, yeah, so two inserts in this one also. And this, you know, I used a piece of velvet on this page. Um, you know, just a teeny bit junk journal-y, I guess. Junk journal style, you know. Um, it's kind of in my blood, so... Um, there's a little tuck spot here, so, okay, so there's number three, and, um, like I said, these will be listed in my shop, um, hopefully within the next couple hours, so I'll get these videos uploaded, and, um, yeah, if anybody's interested in these, check out the link in the video description. And don't forget to like the video if, you know, you like what you see or whatever. And um, subscribe if you haven't already. And don't forget to click the little bell um, when you do that. Um, that way you'll get notifications when I go live or when I post a new video or, you know, something like that. So, all right, you guys. Well, thank you very much for watching. Have a great uh, rest of your night, okay? Take care. Love you. Bye.